Good afternoon. My name is Peter McKeith. I'm the Dean of the Fay Jones School of Architecture and Design. And I speak today in the first place on behalf of my predecessors in the deanship. Murray Smart, Dan Bennett, who is with us today, uh, Jeff Shannon, who joins us from afar in Fayetteville, Ethel Goodstein Murphy, who is also with us today, the Rome Center, the Rome programs uh, began with, uh, in a sense, an idea hatched between Murray Smart and Davide Vitali. That was then furthered by Dan Bennett, sustained by Jeff Shannon and Ethel Goodstein Murphy, and to which I've been very privileged to join in these last five years. The Rome Center, the Rome programs are essential to the Faye Jones School, essential to its identity, but as we now know, the Rome Center and the Rome programs have achieved what I think is an even better, larger, more expanded set of purposes and programs, expanding across the University of Arkansas and its many departments and disciplines, but also across schools in the Southeast and the Northeast as well, and with many partners, as we know, here in Italy and across Europe. This is, I think, a superb achievement uh, that began with a very simple conversation between Davide and then Dean Murray Smart. It's interesting to me that uh, the global studies students made a presentation that suggested that global studies is the study of the interconnectedness of peoples, cultures, languages, geographies, economies, and technologies. Because I could make the same argument for architecture. But it's not me who makes that argument. In fact, it was Vitruvius writing in the time of Augustus who makes this argument for architecture. And I quote Vitruvius in the 10 books of architecture, book one, chapter one, paragraph three, students take note. Let the architect be educated, skillful with the pencil, instructed in geometry, know much history, have followed the philosophers with attention, understand music, have some knowledge of medicine, know the opinions of the jurists, and be acquainted with astronomy and the theory of the heavens. Perhaps that is actually what all citizens and certainly all educated people could aspire to. This is why being here at the Rome Center is so important to our students and certainly to what we do as a university, what we all do as educators and what we all do in all our universities. But here too, history has its precedence. We are privileged to be here in Rome as universities because of the example that was set in 1894 by the founding of the American Academy of Rome. Uh, we are privileged today to welcome the 23rd director of the American Academy of Rome, Dr. John Oxendorf, who has been with, uh, in that position since July of 2017. John is, uh, together with Mark Robbins, a good friend to the university, I know a good friend to the interests of the Rome Center here. He is himself an exemplar of what Vitruvius described, also what our global students describe as their calling in the world. He is uh, perhaps best defined as a preservation engineer, historian, and educator uh, with a focus in particular on the history and traditions of pre-industrial engineering, specifically masonry vaulting. Uh, but obviously in his role as director of the American Academy, this expands uh, exponentially to include so many from so many departments and disciplines. John is uh, remarkably accomplished he is a chaired professor of architecture and engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He's a 2008 Rome fellow himself. Also in that same year, I'm not quite sure on the timing, what preceded what or what led to what, John was also designated a 2008 MacArthur Fellow for his uh, accomplishments and his research in uh, his examinations and explorations of pre-industrial engineering traditions. He's a member of the Design Futures Council uh, and is here today, I know, to speak to us about lessons from Rome, learning from Rome, 
but in fact, uh, I know is uh, joined by all who have participated in the American Academy over these many years. And in that regard too, I would simply want to designate that for Arkansas, that relationship with the American Academy begins with James Lambeth in 1979, our own Faye Jones in 1980, and continues to this very day with the uh, recent membership of Kim Sexton over the winter holiday, our professor of architectural history, and currently our own Marlon Blackwell, who serves as a visiting fellow. But with that, we welcome John Oxendorf here. John, the podium is yours. Thanks very much.